Okay, first, I need a round of applause for me getting up before noon. Thank you. Okay, anyway, we're still on this journey with having no Dexcom, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me on a day without me having a sensor on. Because it has now been over two weeks without a Dexcom. You guys know I had COVID, didn't have a Dexcom, because when I got sick, my Dexcom sensor ended, and then I couldn't get it refilled, so I didn't have it for a couple weeks at home. Then it came around to New Year's Eve, pharmacy was closed, New Year's Day, pharmacy was closed. Went back in after, I think on the second or the third, I can't remember now. I was like, hey, I need to refill my prescription for Dexcoms. Went in and they were like, your insurance isn't covering it. it. Turns out it is like special authority that needs to get leased again for the Dexcom. So where I live in Canada, or maybe it's specifically to BC, my doctor has to give special authority for the first year through Pharmacare, I guess. And then after the year, I have to get special authority again for the next four years. Talked to my doctor. They said they have put in this request back to November. I didn't even know they did this for me. They put in another urgent request the other day, I think at the very end of December. Called the pharmacy, nothing's still in place. We're just stripping it up. That sounded wrong. Or we're test stripping it up. No, like testing my blood sugar. Anyways, so in the middle of the night, I woke up and my blood sugar was at 15 because I don't have a sensor on. Probably wouldn't woken up anyways though because I don't even put my highlights on. You guys do that. Maybe I should do that. Can I get a Dexcom on? Can somebody remind me about that? I remember doing a correction. I can't even remember how much I took or what I did. I remember I just had to constantly get up in the night to pee because my blood sugar was so high. Oh my God, maybe that's why I have a hard time being a morning person because of the fact I have diabetes. But you guys are doing just fine, aren't you? It's just me. Yeah, this isn't a diabetic problem. This is just a married problem. So we're going to test my blood sugar and see where we're at and then we're going to get ready for the day. I have to work out. 1 p.m. But I also was influenced by the internet guys that I went on YouTube and everybody's always wearing white fox. And I was like, you know what? I want a really good quality, like thick hoodie. And I find like where I live, there's nowhere good to just go in a store and buy something like this. That's not like crazily expensive. Found it online and I was like, this is really cute. It's like a little matching sweatsuit. And I got a ton of more stuff, but I love clothes like hoodies and sweatsuits and everything. So also I think I'm having an allergic reaction. My lips keep getting really, really, really like burny, but I don't know if it's just cause they're chap, but I've been putting like a huge amount of lip chap and repair and something's just going on. The last time this happened to me, I just ate a ton of oranges and then my lips were like, ah. Anyways, we're 6.7. So I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee and then we're gonna get ready for the day because I work at one and then tonight after work, I'm gonna have a secret Santa on my little girlfriends and we're gonna trade some gifts. Oh my God, I didn't get my gift. Oh my God, I didn't get my gift. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Oh my God, I'm actually just realizing this on camera. I was supposed to do that this morning. Oh my God, because when it was COVID, I haven't gotten Christmas presents for anyone yet because I've been working since I got back out of the house from COVID. When I had COVID, that first week just before Christmas, I was gonna go do shopping, but then I got sick. Oh God, I didn't get my secret stand again. <gasps> okay, crap, and I have a good blood sugar. We should be celebrating the 6.7. I have a cheer, please. Okay, so I found a new angle to film in my car. What do we think? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it first. Yeah, that works out. I'm at work right now. This is my lunch break. What time is it? It is literally 4:19 p.m. It's more like a dinner break because I started at one today, as you guys know. So I finished getting ready. I was gonna show you guys my getting ready process, but I realized that after I finished filming that clip, I started editing everything, and then I was like, I'm gonna be late for work, and I have had hours to prepare to get ready for work. So we're gonna test my blood sugar now that I'm on break, and then we're gonna find something to eat. I think I might just ride it to Timmy's and grab some soup because why the heck not. His work's been good. I had to test my blood sugar once in between customers because I was like, oh, am I going low? Wasn't going low, wasn't going low. What am I doing? I didn't even just pop, I didn't pop the lid off yet. Ow, ow, I almost closed that lid on my finger. What was I saying? I just lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, it wasn't low. I was like 8.6, so I was fine. And then I continued working. All I can keep thinking about is the fact that I have not gotten a gift for my friend tonight. One of the worst part is the person that I have for Secret Santa is my best friend, Steph. I'm um, spoiling it. Hey, Steph, you're my Secret Santa. Um, Here's the thing. I'm picking that woman up after work. Well, not right after work. I'm gonna pop home and then go pick her up and drive her to the event thing that we're doing. How funny would it be though if we each had each other for Secret Santa and then we're like, hey, I know we're meeting up to trade gifts, but neither of us have our gifts. Did I not even tell you guys my blood sugar? I was 9.0. I'm 9.0. Let's go to Timmy's and let's grab some food. So side note, I want to know everybody's coffees order as a diabetic. I am just a simp or Tim Hortons, a simp. I get two cream and two sweetener, like two Splenda. Hello, hey, uh, do you have the cream of broccoli soup? Unfortunately, no. Do you guys have the chili? Yep. Awesome. Can I just grab a small one of those, please? And that's everything. Thank you. you. Gotta get those Timmy rewards. So you get them to scan your phone every time. If you guys don't have Tim Hortons, green points, and then you get coffees. 
because who's an addict? Not me. Awesome, thank you. You too. I have literally gotten proposed to three times by one of the guy workers that work there. I think he just likes my name because it's Mary, so he's always like, Mary, will you marry me? He once gave me a donut though, it was really nice. I go through there an embarrassing amount of times, okay? That's all I'm going to say. I have about 50 minutes pretty much to eat this food. Also, I absolutely hate, well actually, no I don't hate that. I was about to say I hate how fast it's getting dark outside. I'm an introverted extrovert and I really like my introverted side where I want to stay inside and do nothing. So I like it when it's dark. It just makes me feel like I should be home and not out doing things, which I don't like to do. I like to stay inside. I am an indoor person, but there are certain things that will get me outside. Let's eat some food, shall we? And they give you like a piece of a, a bun thing. I'm gonna guess about 20 carbs for the chili. Great, I just dropped my lid in my car. So I'm gonna take some insulin. Also, I put an Omnipod on last night and I put it on my hip and I normally don't do that spot very often. I thought I was gonna have to take it off because I thought I put it too far back, like almost towards my back and it was hurting and I was like, I just don't think I put it in a spot where there was enough fat. It was in a location where it just, it, I don't know, but it's all settling now and it's all working out. So that's really nice. Anyways, let's try the soup. 10 out of 10. When I'm off work, I'll have to meet up with Steph to pick her up and give her a ride. I have like, I have to count them, but I don't have many test strips left and the pharmacies are closed. I didn't even think about it. I totally thought I had another bottle left. So we're gonna hope and my blood sugar stays chill tonight or we're gonna have some serious issues because we got no Dexcom and if we have no strips, I will absolutely have no clue what my blood sugar is. I'm gonna go pick up Steph, the one that uh, doesn't have a gift from what? So, okay, I just rolled up to Steph's house. I'm gonna break her the news I don't have her gift and tell her that she's my secret Santa. You guys ready? Also, I'm starting to be clammy. I hope my blood sugar's not going low. Time to tell her I'm a terrible friend. Oh, I see her. Oh, you're my secret Santa. <laughs> I still don't have her gift. I actually have some heckin' fantastic news. Before we get into the, the news, I wanna show you a couple of the diabetic gifts that I got from Secret Santa. Top gift. I know this one's not diabetic, but Steph, you heckin' rock. Wanna know what this is? This is for your car. So, you know, and get chicken McNuggets and you can put your sauce in there. I am a diehard fan for chicken McNuggets. So that is awesome. Steph is the sweetest human. Gave me like a random little gift with just like cocoa mix. And she cut out from the box the nutritional information so I would know how much insulin to take. Asha that gave me my actual secret Santa, but she got me Dexcom stickers. We're leading up into the good news because guess what I got? My Dexcom. It's been a while now, it's been a while. I also have no idea what happened with my coverage. I've just been checking every day at the pharmacy to see if it's, you know, my coverage is it. Today I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm running out of test strips. So I put in an order last minute. I was like, can you just run through the Dex card one more time? I know I've asked you guys to do this so many times. And she put it through and she's like, it's through. Except it looks like my coverage is different this time. Normally I would get the Dexcoms for free and then my strips were quite expensive. And now I've noticed that my strips are reduced to about $20 and my Dexcom right now is at $100. I think my coverage just reset for everything. So I think I'm about to find out if I'm paying for other things or what's going on. Let's put on a Dexcom, y'all. This is awesome. I also have a dinner to go to tomorrow night and I was like, I just don't want to guess what my blood sugar is. I don't want to think about it or have to test. Like it's just such a nuisance sometimes, you know? I was just looking for alcohol swabs and I think I actually ordered some off Amazon. Hoo -hoo! We're gonna get an alcohol swab off and we're gonna put the Dexcom right onto my forearm because I haven't had it there for a while and I miss it. I haven't even taken off my clothes yet from work. I don't even know where my transmitter is. Oh my God, hopefully it's not dead. Should I do a new transmitter in case? Dexcoms are pricey. Okay, I'm gonna go find my transmitter. I found the transmitter. Let's change the sticker to the polka dot one that Asha got me. Oh my God, there's more. Oh, there are two pages. Where are these from? This is Glucomart on the back. I never took this out of my old sensor. Nasty. Favorite one. We're gonna put this on my wall so people can scan it. Oh, what's that on your wall? That baby sucks. I love like the cute little aesthetically pleasing Dexcom stickers. I like ones that I normally order a bit bigger, but it totally fits like right on there. Hopefully it's not dead or we just put a sticker on an old one. And let me grab my box of Dexcom. Oh yeah, fresh new box. And let's grab this one. Oh my God, what if this is gonna hurt me? I haven't done one in a while. And I know I say this every video, but the Dexcom does monitor my blood sugars if we haven't covered that yet. I'm gonna open up the Dexcom app in a hot second. I'm gonna do a brand new sensor and then I'm going to take off number one and sticky number two. And then you get this code, which is how your phone is gonna know what Dexcom you have somehow. On the forearm, a little bit different from what I've learned and like what I find that works best for me is if I'm putting out anywhere that has a lot of fat, I will just full on push it on or squish it on and pop it off. Um, for my forearm, there's not as much fat, so I do lift it up a bit. And I know a lot of people have asked me that. And you're not supposed to take this off until it's actually on your body, but 
I've never had any problems by taking it off first and it makes it easier than trying to flip that thing off when you don't have all your hands to do so, you know? So I'm gonna put it here. I do squish it on to make sure that it's on my arm. Lift it up slightly and then pow. So this is what it looks like at first. Sometimes it does bleed, but it's a pretty clean sight. So I'm gonna show you guys before that happened. Using my new transmitter. Oh! Ooh, stings a little. We're gonna put it in here and we're gonna squish it in here and you'll hear it click. Like you will know it's in. That clicked like twice if that helps anyone. And then now on here, I'm just gonna enter that code in. 9371, start sensor. Wait, what? I'm so confused. It just said signal loss, attempting to reconnect. Wait up to 30 minutes. Hair new transmitter, no way. Oh, and now it wants me to log into my Dexcom account again. What is going on? <laughs> no, this is supposed to go well. This is my first Dexcom bag. It's like I have to put a new transmitter in, but I just put it in. <laughs> I have a new transmitter, right? Dang God. Okay, I have a new transmitter, but now I have to get this thing out of my arm. Y'all, I could not win. How do you guys get this out? Oh my God, what if I use like a strip? The thing is, is I don't want to ruin the sensor that I just put on and I don't have like something small to get this old one out. Oh, that's right on the needle. I can't. My boyfriend's picking up pizza right now and I need somebody to like pull this out of my body. You want me to show that out? Yeah. All right guys, I got it off. So we're gonna take off this sticker and we're gonna put it on the new one and pair the transmitter. Enter code, take photo, Ooh, you can just scan it. Oh, it wants me to put, ah, the sensor code. Okay, 9371, save, confirm, done. And then I think I put it in before I press go, I hope so. Either way, I'll have the code. I'm hoping I didn't rip it out too hard. Hey, at least we know now how to kind of get it out if we want to try restarting the sensor after, but I don't know if we're gonna want to try to restart this sensor because I just put it through a lot. Pair, haha, -ha. and then it goes start sensor. And now it's gonna actually warm up for the next two hours, so. Anyways guys, I'm really heckin' happy that we got our Dexcoms. Comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'm gonna be doing another video in the next few days. So I love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon, bye.